17 by XXX Tentacion. Jose Dwayne Onsfray was born in Plantation, Florida, but grew up in Lands Hill or Propona Beach, Florida. His father was locked up and his mother wasn't in a good space to take care of a child. He mainly was raised by his grandmother. He became interested in music after joining the school choir and the church choir. He's gotten into a lot of troubles as a child, especially fight. He loved music as a kid and was a fan of Three Days Grace, Lil Wayne, Tupac, Biggie, The Fray, and Papa Roach. After being kicked out of his second school, his grandmother put him into a behavior correctional home called the Sharing Home, as well as nine months in boot camp. He had a long rap sheet including armed robbery, armed burglary, possession of a gun, and possession of oxycodone. God he started damn. out recording music and posting it on SoundCloud and got a buzz going for himself, but he lost it once he got locked up. But momentum was on his side and he got it back once he got back out. He would get locked up again, but this time around the fan base actually grew even larger. His name is XXX Tentacion XXX for his love of porn and Tentacion because it means temptation in Spanish. 17 is X's seventh solo project. How do we feel about 17 by XXX Tentacion? This is dope. I thought it was dope. It should surprise me. But uh, yeah, you ain't alone. You are not alone, man. Yeah, Michael I, Jackson said it. Yeah, I highlighted this uh, in my notes as teenage emotion time, and uh, <laughs> the reason why I say this is because how old is he again? I know you just said it in the bio. He's, I probably didn't even listen. Nah, I didn't say it in the bio. Oh, you did. He's twenty something. Okay, early twenties. Is he even twenty one? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, I think it's dope, man. It's mood music. It's like R and B. He's like he's like the Joe Biden's of R and B, like. With the mood Let me take that back He's only 19 Okay There we go Fits perfect with my thing Good I was bring it up next But um, Yeah I thought Like the R&B type Rock Hip hop Somewhat Is, is dope uh, I didn't need the explanation But I get it Other than that That's the only thing I disliked on it Like But he'll learn that As he gets older You don't need to explain yourself To people man It's a dope way To start the album though yeah, I, I, I don't even know if I can call this an album, dog. It's only, it's still only twenty minutes. Right. It's, it's twenty minutes. Right. Twenty one minutes. Yeah. It was just dope, a dope listen. Um, I like everything on this. If I gotta pick a standout, uh, where this shit at? If I gotta pick a standout, I will probably pick um, fuck love. I thought that was dope. By uh, Uzi Vert. No. It was just a joke, man, because it do sound like Uzi. Yo, we'll we'll get into that because I don't want to mix everything in, but Uzi's coming right in my next. My man so. Flights, my man Flights, he's probably watching this because uh, he, he, said we, he said we need a young nigga to give his take because he gets tired of old niggas giving I, takes on young music. Yo, nah, but the funny thing is I'll bring it up next, but I, I got to have... We can mix it all up. Nah, 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 nah. Because... Nah. I feel, right like, back I to feel back. like we deserve like Uzi deserve his, his own time okay. like XX to do with this. He actually yeah. surprised. Yeah, yeah, actually he surprised. I won't lie, man. So I thought it was dope. Um I like Jocelyn Flores song. Um that's obviously he paying uh homage to homegirl that um he do that pa- that passed away or killed herself or did something. So, you know, he has that he has stuff in his life as you could hear in the bio that why he's depressed. We obviously know why. Yeah. Um, but then listening to his music also, you wouldn't think that he's such a hothead. Like you could hear the depression, but you wouldn't think that he's so like quick to go. He seems more laid back. Like when I seen him, that thing when he got punched on stage and he he was barefoot. The barefoot thing is what stood out to me. Getting punched on stage, I, that can happen to anyone. The I mean, fact that, that was corny anyway. Right, boy ran up on a white one paying attention. Right, right. The fact that he was barefoot on stage, I'm like, man, this. This kid is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be barefooted on that nasty ass stage. <laughs> the kid is different, man. But, but I liked it. How you felt about it? Yo, um, well, just, just to give people some context, like he said, Jocelyn Flores was basically a model that he flew out to Florida to stay with him to help work on a project, and she committed suicide while she was staying in his hotel. And uh, he felt really bad about it, and obviously he's in depression. I mean the music pretty much tells you that So he basically made a song dedicated to her And I believe he said Revenge was dedicated to her too um, But to me that's that's my favorite song on there um, The explanation was a good way of telling people Hey don't judge his music like, Sorry nigga we gonna judge it anyway That's, right. that's what people do when they listen to music right. they, they have an opinion on it um, But yeah I like, I like the fact that You know he actually gave an explanation Like you are literally entering my mind uh, I feel like 
what he told us, what I learned from his mind is that it has a lot of incomplete thoughts, just like it has a lot of incomplete songs. You know, and that's not a knock on him, but some of these songs are good. They they should be full short. songs. Yeah, they yeah, should be short. full songs. Uh, my favorite songs with Jocelyn Flores, Save Me, and Fuck Love with uh, Triple Uzi Vert. I mean, my bad, Triple Red. Triple Red. Um, other than that, the rest of the songs were cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of different genres of music. I want to throw it out there that XXX Tentacion is not rap music. He's not. They they have them categorized as hip hop, rap music. He doesn't consider himself hip hop, rap music. The label is just trying to capitalize off of the movement. Basically, a whole bunch of you know non minorities up there saying, "Hey, let's title him as rap." Yo, let's the put him. Let's put him. Let's put him. Yeah, let's put him on rap because that's what's controlling. Yeah, this. this is more towards like alternatives, rock. That, like it's more towards that He raps on like two songs I'll give him hip hop Slash alternative I'm not giving him hip hop Cause it's not the predominant thing That he's doing Like the predominant sound on this Is like a A rock A soft rockish yeah. type sound Like with, with depression And and he Like I said He only raps on two songs So um, Yeah I gave this joint a B minus man I thought it was dope Yep It should still be longer though It's too short Yeah Definitely It's a dope song man yeah, um, motion driven. Um, let's let's not overlook um, some of those lyrics, man. Um, yeah, we can enjoy the music. We'll sit here and judge it and yeah, review man, it. Yeah, man, it sound like he needs some counsel. Right, man. right, man. Get your help, man. Um, you shouldn't want to that sit back and want to end this shit. Like, that ain't your fault. Yeah. Home girl killed herself. She left her meds at home. I'm not trying to say. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, whatever it is, take I, responsibility for their own shit. Right, right. I mean, whatever it is, whatever he needs help with, people. Period. We need to because. There's a lot of artists that let us know in their music that they need help, and we just like, man, pretty much throw it under the rug. Right. Joe Buttons is known for that. Right, right. 